Hi, welcome to the second video in my three video series. My name's Johnny Scratch and in this video I'm doing just a quick review um, on the new Mark IV track. The reason I'm doing this video is there's not many on YouTube as it is um, and I just wanted to just highlight a few features which some people have been asking questions about. I think the first one is about the jog wheels and what kind of beating and what battering they can take uh, in terms of scratching. Um, I know my name's Johnny Scratch, but I wouldn't class myself as a Scratch DJ in any way, so don't expect anything amazing. Um, but I think what is going to be valuable for people looking in is kind of what sort of damage you can do to the uh, to the jog wheels without actually destroying your track, or you know what I mean. So if I am um, just going to press a play on the Scratch sample, so I'm just going to pan up to the, um, the screen so you can see what's going on. You know, you can really move it about. So, yeah, uh, I, t I, I did say don't expect miracles or anything. Um, but, yeah, the jog wheels themselves, um, they do take a beating. Um, best way to compare them is, I mean, you can't compare it to uh, vinyl decks, obviously. Um, but it is just like using a CDJ. And I kind of feel like, I don't know, if I'm going to get shot for this. Kind of feel like it. They're, they're as good, if not better. Uh, to be fair, I, I think the jog wheels are fantastic on this piece of kit. Um, also, the uh, the crossfader itself has got a beautiful click to it. So any uh, scratch DJs out there, uh, you know, who do need a really tight crossfader, um, you're going to really enjoy this crossfader. It's fantastic. Um, you can uh, you can actually adjust the curve as well. Uh, just down here, what in manual mode. Uh, when it's not when your mix is not plugged up to the laptop uh, adjusting that uh, adjust it and adjust it um, in the actual controller itself but when you've got your um, uh, laptop plugged in tractor plugged in when you adjust this knob uh, it does actually adjust the uh, the curve in tractor itself so um, it's pretty good it's kind of tight it's very tight actually so uh, you can adjust it to it to your preference um, I think the other thing that people have been asking about is the standalone mixer itself. Um, I've actually got a DJM not, uh, DJM 800 um, and I don't think I'm going to sell it just yet. Uh, I think the mixer is great but as soon as you've got it in uh, standalone mixer mode then obviously you've got no effects or anything. So if you're just mixing your vinyl through, you know, just having a vinyl mix, you can't actually use any effects. Um, but the mixer itself is fantastic. It's good. You know, it's solid, well built. Uh, the knobs and spacings are all really good. Um, the only thing that you're missing on there is the the LED per channel, the LED um, the output levels. So uh, it's you know, uh, it's something that I do miss from having a a, a DJM eight hundred. Um, but all in all, once you've got tractor plugged into it, I don't think anything comes close to the uh, usability of this. Um, I've used um, a Control S4 as well and a Control S2. Um, I do think both of those are fantastic pieces of kit for using Tractor. Um, but I think if, if you don't own one of them, then I'd definitely consider getting one of these because it's absolutely a dream to use. Um, and I recommend you get it. Um, the, I acquired this from winning a DJ competition on www.djkit.com. Um, gotta be in it to win it <laughs> anyway please um hook me up on facebook twitter soundcloud all that just type in johnny scratch it's no space in johnny scratch and there's no h in johnny so uh check me out check my music out um uh, and let me know what you think okay one more video to come and it's going to be about some new monitors that i've got um uh, and we'll see how we go all right thank you bye bye